Hey, I switched up the angle. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about pitching, specifically when you're using a computer with a PDF, which is also known as a director's treatment or pitch deck, whatever you wanna call it. But here's the basic outline of a pitch, and then I'm gonna go into more detail with each one, and I'm gonna show you some director's treatments that I've made so you can go make your own for your next pitch. Now, whether you're telling a story or talking about a product, every pitch needs to start with a problem or question. If it's a product, talk about the problem you're going to solve. And if it's a pitch about a story, talk about the question, what your character wants. Next point two is we wanna know the adventure. What are we actually going to see? How does the product work? Or how does the story unfold? And then number three, this is very important, is the execution. How does it work? How are you actually going to be able to pull off this story if you're making a film? Or if it's a product, how does that product actually work? Ideas are cheap, but execution is money. So if you can go through those basic three things in under 60 seconds, if you can get it in 30 seconds, that's amazing, people will be hooked and they'll understand what you're trying to accomplish. Because more is not better for pitches, neither for this video, so let's keep going. Point number one is you want to identify the question or the problem you're solving. In the case of my ASD film, OK, which is about the autism spectrum disorder band, the ASD band, here's the actual pitch deck that I brought to the executive producer. You can see here this first page here, Pathway to Empathy. This is just talking about my sensitivity towards the subject. Sometimes you want to throw a page up front to show why you're the right person for the job. But then you see the third page down here. Talk about the goal right up front. What do these characters want? What is the question they're asking? talking about them writing their first album and trying to get their first gig. This creates attention for the audience. They wanna hear more in your pitch idea because they wanna see how you're gonna tell that story and how it's actually gonna be accomplished. Point number two, tell us about the adventure. I hear people pitching their films all the time and they go into backstory and all of this nonsense and I never know what their film is going to look like. I don't know what is going to actually happen. So this is where you get to start referencing other films. You can say it's gonna feel like Air Bud or the movie Speed and maybe they meet together, I don't know. But you throw references and this is where visual style pages will help people see what's actually in your mind. The whole point of a pitch so people understand understand how you would create the idea if they were gonna give you the money to go do it. You can even see here when I'm talking about the visual style how it's gonna be raw and honest and I reference another film, Shawn Mendes in Wonder. So if the executive producer wanted to go watch that film and see what I had in my mind, he can begin to see the references that I'm pulling from. I also reference one of my favorite films here, Nomadland. What's actually so cool for me looking at this pitch deck is how much I can actually see the film unfolding from the initial ideas that I came up with, with seeing the band members play their instruments in their bedrooms and having those interviews in there so it felt raw, honest, and intimate. Point number three is now you want to describe how it's going to be achieved. And just before I get into that, after this point, I want to show you some quick tips on building treatments. I'm going to show you a product I've been using recently myself. But when it comes to describing how it's going to be achieved, this is one of the most important parts of your pitch. You've gotten people this far, and now you have to show them the validity of your pitch, how it's actually going to be accomplished. So if you remember this commercial I did, Molson Drink From The Cup, and one of the most award-winning commercials I've ever done, was really lucky to get the chance to work on it. But in my director's treatment, which I have right here, you'll see right down here on the third page, I talk about how my best filmmaking is done when it's just me in the camera. I'm setting them up to know that I work well in a small crew situation. And why that was important was there was a problem we were trying to solve with this commercial. We only had four hours with the Stanley Cup and we had to shoot an entire TV commercial and get a perfect beer pour. So jumping down here to page 10, I talk about the technical approach. I literally name the cameras we're gonna use. I talk about how we're gonna shoot a pre-visualization of the entire spot, which we did. I shot a pre-vis, which means I shot the whole commercial on the location scout so we knew exactly every shot we needed for the actual day. I told them exactly how I was going to do this commercial. So that might be the reason why they selected me for this. I'll never know. The agencies don't always tell you why you were the director they wanted to go for. But I know I wasn't necessarily the most qualified. I'd never done a beer commercial. But I did describe exactly how I was gonna do it and we were able to do that. In your pitch, write the reality. You want to dream big, but you also want to tell people how you can actually accomplish this. And maybe you're asking, Mark, how do I build 
a treatment. Can I have yours? Well, for me, I just use Keynote. It's what I've always done. I don't know Illustrator or any of those pieces of software. I find Keynote really easy to use and then I just spit out a PDF at the end and hand that out over email. And what's amazing is there's a website called Avado and they have over 43,000 pitch templates for Keynote alone. <laughs> I created one for Mile by Mile. If you remember my film here, it's super easy. They have all the text placement and where you can put in the photos. So all you need to do is come up with the written words, find some images, but then you don't have to stress about formatting it and making it look beautiful because they have so many templates. And what's really cool with Avato as well is you could build an entire pitch deck from their website. They have tons of stock photos in there. They have a ton of video as well and even fonts. You could build an incredible pitch deck just from their website alone. They actually have over, I think, 2 million licensable assets. Sorry, I just realized they actually have 10 million. It's a really quick click just to download it and you can throw it in your video and never miss a beat. Time is money and Avato saves you that time. Anyone can just write an email, but how well can you paint the picture of your final product? Go check out Avato. They have unlimited downloads for over 10 million assets, stock video, photos, fonts, everything that you need. You can check the link below. They even have a seven day trial if you wanna try out any of the assets. So I hope that helps. Get out there, practice your pitches. Another hack that I always do is, I, it's not really hack, but I pitch into my phone and I actually time it, try to get it under 60 seconds, and I listen back and I hear where I'm saying um or uh, and I realize that's where I don't know my idea all that well. If you can't say your pitch in 20 seconds to yourself and understand the idea, then I doubt that you actually know the idea yet. Keep it shorter. I would say cut your pitch by one third of how long you think it needs to be. Get them down to a shorter amount of time because what you want is someone asking you questions because then it becomes a conversation. Rather than you talking for an hour long, there's gonna be no questions at the end. I've made this mistake many times on pitches where I just keep going and I'm sure I'm boring everyone because no one is as excited about your idea as you are. So you gotta get them excited and you gotta get them talking. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that one and I'll see you on the next one.